promise to each other to be true to one another in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health, you would love and cherish one another all the days of your life. For 64 years, you have cherished one another. I'm sure you miss it. But I hope you know the love of your family and all of Charlie's family and friends who surround you today with a love that can't take away your loss or grief, but a reminder of how loved you are and how many you have touched by your lives together. And Catherine and Annette and Andrea and Jennifer and all of Charlie's beloved family, you were first and special in his life. You know, many people have been inspired by our new Holy Father, Pope Francis, and the little things that he does to show us what it means not to be served, but to serve. And one of the things that he has been doing since he became Pope is inviting those at the Vatican who serve, who help as staff do the little things that make such a difference. One man said, we're just little people, but he calls us to pray with him, and he greets each one of us. Charlie was one of those people who served with incredible dedication. That's why so many priests are here today. Monsignor Mullane, our pastor emeritus, Father Lombardo, our pastor, Father Clement, Father Madu, Father Miguel, Father Mark, Father Angelo, Father Al, and Monsignor Al. They are here to say that we have all been inspired by the life of this good and holy man did those simple things that make all the difference. And so as we join in prayer today, we are grateful to God for Charlie's life and for all the good that he has accomplished. And he reminds us 